1-0 phase, bomb planted, and look at this, more mind games coming in. Estrada's got four HE grenades. They're gonna nade the window, and they're gonna use a smoke. Nade the window, and there could be two kills coming out here, Vince. This could actually be a nightmare. Here they come, the airstrike, tactical nukes coming in! Both kills landing, oh my goodness, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Both in-game leaders prepared for what the opposition are presenting. And now we have a four versus three. Oh, Eco now for phase. They do bring out two HG grenades. Eco towards the window at this point. You can see Astralis are kind of varying things up. They're not just doing the standard smoke. They're moving a much deeper one towards short to actually give more access towards middle. Double that up with the window smoke and you actually have the full area to yourself, which is connected you can focus on at this point. Nico, you're in trouble, my friend. Goodbye. And uh, he will be executed with the grenades. That's the second airstrike that's successful so far. Timely smoke for Dupree. But they're going to be smoking off in front, and they read that so well. Nicely done for Twist. There's the flank coming in from Glaive, and he almost gets a double. The grenade, long range. He's trying to guess it, and it oh. does land right in the face of Stewie. That is such a bold prediction. What a god. Numbers of Astralis, and once again, the worst happens. Once again, EG win a pistol round and then lose the following round, which, as you highlighted previously in the, in the last map where it happens, it is the worst outcome for your economy at the beginning of a match. At least they're on the T side. I think it's worse if they're CTs, yeah. which Astralis are, so that is something. It's much more of a nightmare scenario, in my opinion, when the sides are flipped. Device won't spray you through, but Madness has got so many targets. Plenty of damage done, and again, the bomb's been dropped. So look at Device's angle. Nothing going the way of VG. Device can just savage them if they go for it. They all die in the choke points of Secret, and this is just like a psychologically just terrible way to start a game. Those bargain basement rifles on the T side will just be the one with the two AKs and a bunch of pistols. They'll prioritize utility, and the Wall of Smokes will be very quickly deployed outside. There's a Molotov into those smokes, but it won't stop them. Frags towards Ramprim is difficult. In this sort of scenario, you might have to go for it. One kill and dropping would be fine. And he will be tested any second now. Utility, not really the aim of the game. Oh, the Molotov is brilliant here, because if he drops down, he yeah. goes into flames and they know it. He doesn't, does he? So even if he did get one kill there, he's probably going to go down. That's a really, really nice approach from Astralis. I love well that. well thought through. Yeah. Naf, lovely angle. He's only going to be able to get one from there. Allo back on the opens. This time not as aggressive. Need to start winning some rounds here. Yeah, 8-0 down. Astralis have already won the half. There's the shot. And XCP is going to be dropped here. He gets away just Ooh. about. An opening pick once more for X7. What? Hello! Yeah. Similar scenes to what we saw and yesterday when he dropped off. And he's had the op twice. It's not like it's been all economy wow. against him. Five kills tops for both Sergey and Alexi. Just foolish. Zipix will flash himself back in aerial alone in the site. Does find one. They don't even consider the fact that he could still be in the corner because they had the pick for so long, but his patience didn't catch them slightly off. Unfortunately, he'll burn. He'll burn it, but the need in response to Lexi. <laughs> he's in the open. They're so good with utility on the Astralis side. It's pretty unbelievable, I have to say. Is this the hit they go for? Does Carrigan read it? Does he know? He can't see it. The damage is coming out. They've read the play. The nade is good, though. Magus lands the touchdown on Exist, but do they go on it? Is that the springboard? Do they hold? Do they wait? They adjust. Nico and Carrigan unsure of that next pressure point. It has to be. It has to be the, the move because oh, Rain no. has got them trapped in. Another flank coming in. This has been a disaster for Astralis throughout the match. Back to the wall. CS now coming in. Dupree's the first man forward. Zipnix, he delivers on Kerrigan. The Guardian is there. Adjusted well, but the reach perfect from Astralis. Oh, and up and over the head we go. Astralis bring us further into this matchup, and it's the final round of OT. That triple nade sack once again. It earlier got Kerrigan down to about 15 health. This time it clears out Exist. Means it's a pretty useless flank at that. It's happened before. We'll see how this unravels. Last time it was Carrigan dealing that final deadly blow in that 2v1 on cash. Now, Guardian gets completely decimated as Astralis fight tooth and nail for du double overtime. They don't want this to end now. This is not the bar you want heading into round number 26 of map four. While your opponents are one map up and one away. And claiming the title here. Absolutely. 
Here's the Basha by again, but it might work out for them here. Opening pick comes in. It's going to be very uncomfortable, or is it? The double HE kill once again as Magus arrives in emphatic style, takes down one, and that's going to be round secured. The damage inflicted by these HE grenades is just off the scales now. 14 to 12. Team Liquid could have bought up into that one. And FaZe under Nico's calling, staying pretty grouped up. And now all these HE grenades, if they're all going to be on catwalk, FaZe can run into some trouble. Might be the two people behind the stack up here, and there's going to be a whole rain of them landing down. Guardian is going to be gone eventually, and Rain almost down to nine health. The follow-up will get him. That's, I mean, we talked about it. The utility usage absolutely off the charts for this team. It could have been much worse, it really felt like. You can see it in the score of, of Device. As I mentioned, that 9-0 run, he, like, went, he was 16-2. and two. And once he kind of faded off, it's not that he like kind of cooled down or faded off, it's that Tyloo just stopped presenting the opportunity to get picked off by him. And that's when they started getting some rounds on the board, is when they actually had the manpower to attack bomb sites. Oh, dude, this is dangerous. He's used all of his bullets. Now he's reloading. As they're running in, and they're going to get close. Double grenade. Take down the double D. Works out perfectly. Extra it goes down as well to Sip. That's a very powerful, and they've even left the pre at top mid, so, so any retake right now has to deal with this fact. I mean, they, they, I don't know what you could do against this, but shooting, this is actually something that a lot of people do. When you shoot through that smoke with a USP, they're counting on the other side, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's a classic pick shot as well, the double nade, the, the shallow smoke, and just tossing back there. It's a popular place to be. 11 to 5 now. But look at Twist calling it. This is an early rotation out of him. But this might be what wins them the semi-final. They've set it up so nicely. The crowd is behind them chanting, let's go Fnatic. 35 seconds. It's going to be a lot of Molotovs over the wall. Actually, one of them might land dead on Crims. This could be the ticket for Astralis. These grenades could do all of the work for them. Three of them going over the wall. One on Exist, one on Crims. Everybody's catching fire. Twist goes down and there it is. They throws it right out. Two on four. JW and Brolan left. How can you even dream of retaking this? Astralis grenading their way into overtime. I don't see any other way out of this one. They have got a single kit. They're going to set up the flashbang, but Astralis, they are all over the place. Everywhere is a crossfire. You are going to have to spend days looking for these remaining players, and they know it as well. JW trying to sneak on in. What a match this is. JW goes down and it's 15-15 overtime here at the semi-finals. Inferno and some for better Ouch. and some for worse through the wall on the 12 the nades oh man Astralis is good at throwing them it's not like it's like another round that they would have been used to right and this is a strategy that can be called because there's so little defense from crazy at long they knew they could get out for free but that is a problem the fact that kill comes out so quick on the spam no one's gonna rotate double Molotov you're not surviving that you're not getting any kills now it's on Esperanto alone to try and hold the bomb site, and he's not going to do it. Dupree will take him down. On the CT side, he just reset as well. Yeah. He's just like, well, USP's only, boys. That's It actually kind of sucks sometimes, so maybe that'll make it more fun. Now people won't type GG after losing the pistol. Yeah, round. right. <laughs> <laughs> that would be another thing as well. So I think like, they're trying to remedy those sort of things and make it a little less hardcore in terms of that experience. Oh! They try to avoid the nades and then they take 150 damage. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever seen anything like it? Oh. Let's go oh. in with a triple oh. kill as well. Get them out of here. They are done. They're battered and bruised. It's all gone wrong. 150 damage from the nade, followed up with a triple kill from an AG. It's worms with cheats on. Yeah, that's the holy hand grenade right there. Oh, what a flick from Debris. That's so quick taking down a Dren. But think about how Device in the past has, has outlawed people like Fallen even, who, who perhaps had a more permanent role as Hoping. So it's like he can do it in, in, in just in certain circumstances. And maybe that's some of what James is feeling right now. It's like... <laughs> the utility is just so brutal. It's just a constant stream of grenades. Zip is going to get into position. Magus rotating over as well. Another nade coming in. More nade damage dished out. And now Zipnix spraying him through the smoke. It's just unfair. You are watching Astralis create a frag movie in front of your very eyes.